What's up guys? I'm back with another video and today we're going to the Freedom Factory. That's right. Cleveland McFarland is having the Freedom 500 and the uh, Burnout Rivals competition this weekend. It's currently Friday at around almost three o'clock. We got a three hour drive ahead of us. So we were about to get in the truck, get on the road, get over to the Freedom Factory. And uh, it's a beautiful day. It's gonna be a great weekend. Low of I think 60s on Friday tonight and low of like 54 on Saturday night. So no AC is needed. No, I might even bring the generator, none of that. We're just gonna have a great weekend, uh, some good times. I brought my uh, crazy cart, which short video coming on that soon, if it's not already out. And I got some other fun stuff to mess around with in there. And uh, so yeah, we'll see you on the road. All right guys, made it to the Freedom Factory. Freedom Factory is way back there in the distance. I got a uh, camping ticket, but there's so much traffic over there. They just had us line up over here on Brad Moore Sports. So uh, we're gonna go walk over to the Freedom Factory and see if we can get in, because we don't have a ticket because it's sold out. So we're gonna see if they have any in-person tickets. But uh, yeah, got the camper set up roughly. And uh, hopefully tomorrow morning, some people clear out of the camper section and we can run over there and uh, move the camper and be right next to the front gate. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, bring you guys inside the Freedom Factory. All right, we got the Freedom Factory. The grandstands are packed. They need more wrapping around here, but everyone's racing in there. Got myself some ice cream, delicious. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try and watch the race, but it is so packed, you can't even get in there. Proud to mention, uh, they let us in the gate because they're like, the race already started, everything's already going, doesn't really matter. So super cool, the Freedom Factory workers to actually let us in, even though we didn't have a ticket. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, here's a couple clips of uh, the race.
D in the in the Black Hawk helicopter ripping it up. Well, that was awesome. We just got back. Uh, we actually walked around to the south side of the Freedom Factory right at the end, and I completely spaced uh, when talking to people from Grindhard Co uh, Plumbing Co. YouTube channel. I got to talk to JH Diesel, who won. My boy JH won. Uh, fellow South Florida resident, and uh, yeah, so that was a great event. I'll throw the picture of me and uh, the guy from Grindheart Plumbing Co. in the video. But uh, that's it for the Freedom 500. Tomorrow is Burnout Rivals, and we'll uh, have some more on that tomorrow. All right, guys, so we got Easton Corbett playing at the Freedom Factory. But as you can see, J.H. Diesel ripped out the summit sign after he won the race. I'm just gonna go ahead. Try to fix that for him. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Go check out this helicopter. JH done won him a helicopter. Got this bad boy. Hopefully JH decides to take this bad boy and uh, learn how to drive. All right, we out here. We made some friends. We got Pablo. We got Lewis. We're out here. He's got this little razor. With the headlight on it, the lights on it, I think it's got some mods on it. Gangsta. Gangsta. We got the crazy cart, some RC cars. But uh, right now, because the uh, camping over by the Freedom Factory is like, kind of full, we're over here by the Barrow Motorsports Park. So we're actually going to ride down here, go into the Freedom Factory, and loop around the back to where the uh, pits are and see if we can uh, get into some trouble, yeah? Yeah, let's see what happens. Bet. Let's see. My brother Connor on the one wheel. Let's go. Oh, oh, this is not a good idea to steer from the back. We outside. Oh. 
Absolutely tossed. These guys absolutely hammered. That was leaking all sorts of fluid. What do you got here? Some little RC dragsters? Hey, uh, look at so, that thing. It's a low CS or 22S. Running a hobby wing. Nice. That's uh, badass. Just got it done. What do you got over here on this thing? The balling stock tracks and drag slash. Just with the, with the MTs on that one? Higher speed gear. Yeah. All right, line it up, boys. Handle up to go back here. Party foul. <laughs> like a little Freedom Factory drag race. Who won that one? Left lane? Yeah, I Look at this. Bad unit here. Look at that thing. What do you got here? What is this? It's a fully built slash. It's another slash. Nice. All right, line it up. See what happens. Zach, take him down. Am I racing Zach? Yeah. Warming up. Off the track. Alright, boys are drag racing. So, like I said before, we were over in the Brown Motorsports Park, and uh, if you look over here, oh, it's bright as crap. If you look over here, there's a uh, camper parking over here, and uh, I really want to be over there now because I'm worried about tomorrow morning moving and those spots being taken. So, I'm gonna go pull my trailer, bring it over here, and hang out with these boys with the RC cars. Oh, Man, these boys got all the RC cars got the freaking rock crawlers, the high and low on them. It's badass. We're over here, there's the entrance over there. We're over here in the rocks. Oh yeah, that, that's a, that's a climbable. That's a climbable specimen right there. Some dirt on it. <laughs> oh oh hey, there it goes. Oh, there's no way you climb over that like peak like down this side. <laughs> Ew. Boink. He's even got a, like, a working winch. Let me see the front of this thing. He's even got a working winch on the front. That winch actually comes out like a truck. This truck, this truck is absolutely so clean. Like if I got a close up, like you probably couldn't even tell it's like not a real truck. Like. <laughs> that thing's sweet. Ah. I'm telling you, crawl across right here. You crawl across right here and go up that. You won't do it. Right, like, like right here, like slowly. So you just float across. Nice. No shot, I guess. That's pretty steep. That's even steeper than this side. If we didn't have the trees, I think we could make it. Well, oh. Oh, I still smell so bad. <laughs> it does. Ah. Yeah, it's too much better than that side. See, you gotta go slow through it. We're a little fast. <laughs> yeah, don't get it all mucked up in there. One, go. Oh, crisscross. <laughs> We're going from raising dragsters to raising 4x4s. Four yeah, what? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Alright, go ahead, send it. Oh my god! Wow! That thing is out. Mo, get on it! You know what I just realized? I've never given you guys a camper tour. So, good morning, Saturday morning, day of the burnout rivals. We've already been up and going. But uh, yeah, so here's the front door. Goes into the master. With a couch that folds into a bed. A table that folds into a bed. Got a stove, sink, storage up here, microwave, freezer, refrigerator. Uh, bathroom sink, bathroom. And a top bunk and a bottom bunk. He's sleeping right now. But uh, yeah, so that's the camper. Yeah, that's the camper. So plans for today are make breakfast, get some food in our stomachs, and then go check out the gates open at one o'clock to get in. It's currently, I think it's like almost 12. Uh, so then we'll go over there and no, it's 11 something. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll go over to the gates, get in there. I'm sure the line's gonna be massive because there's already like 25 people in there and it's a couple hours before the gates open so uh yeah we'll probably let the gates open let the crowd rush in and then we'll go in there and try and find ourselves a seat because yesterday we could not find a seat in the grandstands they were packed as you guys saw so yeah that's the plan eat some breakfast hang out get in there we'll get back to you guys when we're heading in Chairs set up. We got Squirrel and Cleo over there signing people's stuff, and this line is crazy. It goes all the way back. <laughs> Boys are signing. It's awesome though. This guy's an absolute inspiration. But uh, we got our chairs We're waiting for an opening to be able to prop up here. Grandstands over there, and uh, got the Chase Matthews stage all set up, ready to go. So it's gonna be a sweet day. I'll get back to you guys whenever they start doing burnouts. All right. We're in the factory. We got the burnout pads, massive this year. We got toast on show. Then he's got the tube frame, big old blower, ride shop engine.
back at the camper. Got the, uh, the grill going here. But that was insane. I mean, my ears are still ringing. The camera does not do the loudness and the feeling of the vibrations. If you ever, guys, if you ever get a chance, get a ticket, come out to this event because it is amazing. Um, but anyways, so back at the camp spot here, over here, if you guys uh, watch Cleese's videos, that's the front entrance to the Freedom Factory right there. And over here is where his hangar is with the helicopter and the plane in it and whatnot. This is where everyone camps whenever uh, one of these events go down. But uh, super happy, that was awesome. Now we're just gonna hang out, do uh, camping vibe stuff, and uh, eat some food. So, see what the night brings, and uh, we'll get back to you. Check this bad boy out. These guys are wild. Apparently that's whistling diesel's through there. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Look at this hunk. Yeah, it looks familiar. Damn, that front tire is massive. Yeah, the nubs on it. Freaking 37. That's awesome. Yeah, apparently this is this is one of Whistle and Diesel's three wheelers, and uh, this guy drove two days from Wisconsin to uh, try and find them. It's pretty sweet. This is back when he, he jumped this into the pond at his place a while back. Didn't let us ride it. What are these guys doing? Don't worry, we'll do another. What are you guys doing out here? Rear brake isn't super stiff. That's my excuse, by the way. I'm always looking for an excuse. Your rear brake's also like one inch long, right? Look at this. <laughs> that was my fault. I tried touching ground. You went back. I was, I was dragging my hand. <laughs> I was dragging my hand. You gotta, you gotta stay tight. I know, I you should throw your weight around. <laughs> back of the Freedom Factory. Chilling. People doing burnouts. It's going crazy back here. It's like a streetcar takeover. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's see if he can ride the one wheel. It's not easy. I told you. That was a quick intermission. Yo, Joey. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Relax. Turn it off and back on. <laughs> you're good. Um, no, not really. Oh, he's got it! He does got it! Look at that, I've looked the way he's doing it. Oh, he's a natural! Jay's ripping a burnout down there. We got Kai out here, let me ride his big wheel. This thing's friggin' sick. A little big wheel 80. It's the first two stroke I've ever driven. See how it goes. How much I want it right now. <laughs> Old tires from the burnout comp. New tires in the pits. Look at them 
awesome. Double, double elevens. <laughs> Come on, keep it up. No, you don't. You need power. <laughs> you need power. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Super, super fun weekend over here at the Freedom Factory. Uh, but it is now Sunday morning around 9 o'clock, and most of everyone is gone. So super fun camping here this weekend. Super enjoyed it. Um, last night, as you can see from the clips, we got to hang out in the back with JH Diesel, with Luxifer, with uh, some of the judges from the uh, burnout competition and uh, from Kai. I'll link all of them in the description. Um, he let me ride his uh, his little, that little 80. That thing was sick. I, I need to get one of those. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, if you like, keep watching and uh, subscribe, comment, especially comment. I love seeing you guys comment in the comment section. So yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll get back to you in the next one. Peace.